On behalf of the Warren City Schools Board of Education, we welcome you to the first virtual Warren High School's Distinguished Alumni Hall of Fame Induction Ceremony. Each year we celebrate and recognize an extraordinary group of Warren City School graduates who have braved a new world and through their education and work contributed to the greater good of their communities. Today we take a moment to recognize their accomplishments and honor their efforts. To our inductees, you each have a unique story, but the common thread is your resilience to overcome, to move forward, to achieve, to be successful, and most importantly, to share that success with others. As your plaques of recognition will be added to grace the hallways of Warren G. Harding High School, know that hundreds of students, staff, and community members will admire them, and you will be an inspiration for generations to come. Congratulations on your induction, and may you all continue to share your success and knowledge. Hello, I'm Dante Capers, principal at Warren G. Harding High School. Thank you for joining us for this year's virtual Distinguished Alumni Hall of Fame induction ceremony. To this year's inductees, congratulations. Educators assume the daily responsibilities of our profession with the expectation that we not only have a positive impact on our students' day-to-day -day experiences, but we also hope that our educational impact will tremendously benefit them beyond their time in this building and well into each of their futures. Your being recognized here is a testament that a distinguished level of success beyond high school has been realized by each of you. You are the realization of the best of our attentions, the best of our efforts, and the best of what we hope our students will go on to achieve when they leave us. And not us as educators only, but also for our students who will walk past, see, and read of your accomplishments every day as they walk through the halls of Warren G. Harding High School. For the educators, you are the realization of hope. However, for our students, your being a part of this hall may very well be the seed of hope for some students' own future. Robert Burke graduated from Warren G. Harding High School in 1972 and from The Ohio State University in 1977. As CEO of Burke Enterprises, he began working with the company after graduating from OSU and over the ensuing years increased sales over 1000%. After a successful sales trip to China in 1998, Rob developed an import arm of the company, Berkeley Square, a division that now employs a sales force and a network of brokers throughout the country. He also initiated an international trade show for pinball enthusiasts, Pinball Expo, which has been recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records as the longest running pinball event. Rob has been honored as the Regional Chamber Entrepreneur of the Year, received the Rotary Assistant Governor's Award of Distinguished Service, and was named a Trumbull County st Community Star. As a member of Rotary, he founded the Slice of the Valley Annual Pizza Challenge and is a member of Trumbull 100. His personal motto is never say never and credits his time at Harding for helping him grow as an individual, helping him with skills of negotiation and boosting his confidence. Adam Cash, a 1998 graduate of Warren G. Harding High School, a 2002 graduate of Case Western Reserve University, BA Chemistry, and a 2006 graduate of CWRU MD was very active in high school. He was involved in drama club, band, marching and symphonic, first robotics, Odyssey of the Mind, and National Honor Society. Dr. Cash was a full diploma recipient of the International Baccalaureate Program in addition to his specialty practice in plastic and reconstructive surgery. He is an adjunct professor at Mercy Health, Ohio University College of Osteopathic Medicine, Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine, Gannon University, and Neo UCOM. He has written a host of scientific articles, chapters, and books. Dr. Cash was selected to Phi Beta Kappa while at CWRU. He is active in Trumbull News Theater, is a volunteer reader for Academic Challenge, and provides free skin cancer screenings at community health events. Good day. I'm Adam Cash, class of 1998. I'm honored to be accepted into the Distinguished Alumni Hall of Fame class of 2020. I would like to thank Lisa Bennett for the nomination. She provided tremendous guidance during my high school years and continues to be a significant part of my life here in the Mahoning Valley. I just want to take the opportunity to comment on how 
Warren Harding and Warren City Schools helped prepare me for not only my college years, but for the diverse and challenging world that I faced. We know high school is not always a walk in the park, nor is life, but I truly felt prepared for a world on my own as a young man, as I realized my school had represented a cross-section of the complex and beautiful world. I would like to thank Suzanne Fowley, my English teacher, for providing me a foundation for great skills in communication, research, and effective writing that indeed served me well. Also, thanks to Joan Elliott, my biology teacher, who inspired me in the life sciences and piqued my interest in a career in medicine. I will never forget the grueling anatomy lessons or the field trip to Case Western Reserve University where I spent the next 14 years training to be a chemist, physician, and surgeon. And thank you to Lynn Marlin for many years developing my musical part of my brain. I never lost appreciation for fine music or marching in a summer parade while being borderline dehydrated. Finally, I'm proud to be back in this amazing community, doing what I can to give back, to show how grateful I am for the skills I acquired during my time in Warren City Schools. I truly look forward to many years living, working, and serving this community. Thank you again. I am truly honored. After graduating from Warren G. Harding High School in 2002, Constantine Angelo Cafenteris continued his education at the College of Creative Studies in Detroit and studied for a BFA degree in car design in 2007. He has also done graduate work at the Iowa State University from 2004 to 2006. Angelo's career includes automotive design for Toyota, product design for Hot Wheels, design engineer for Mattel, and manager for an innovation group for Disney. He is a CEO of Hyperon, a tech company that works with NASA to create the next generation electric vehicles. Angelo believes that Warren State Schools prepares its students very well for college and life. He was able to test out of many freshman classes and was able to enroll in advanced CAD classes. He is involved with Goya and is a youth basketball coach and through Hyperon Manufacturing is committed to bringing high-tech jobs back to the Mahoney Valley. He wants current generation to know that all dreams are possible if you're willing to work for it. I want to thank the Warren City School Systems for the honor of being inducted into the illustrious and prestigious Hall of Fame. If it wasn't for Warren G. Harding, I definitely wouldn't be where I am today, and that goes for the whole community, and I think it gave me a very diverse, multicultural experience. Simultaneously, uh, it also gave me a whole other level of college-level courses through the International Baccalaureate Program, and I want to thank a few professors who helped me along the way. Dan Drescher, who allowed me to take more years of engineering than you're supposed to take in high school, which allowed me to get really deep into AutoCAD and other mechanical desktops. Suzanne Fowley, uh, who basically had the highest standards to this day of any English course that I've taken, having professors like Emil Pronko teach that passion, hard work, drive, and a desire to succeed, even when things don't go your way. Bad things happen sometimes, and good things happen sometimes. And all you can do is keep going. First part's luck, second part's how you respond to it. Amy Bird, uh, who, who made things seem natural that weren't natural in physics, uh, without her staying late with me, uh, tutoring uh, definitely would not have probably even passed her courses, but her doing that allowed me to excel. And then beyond that, to Frank Stepanczyk, uh, who allowed me and taught me the ability to hyper-focus on one thing to deliver something that may have taken you uh, five times longer than somebody else, but it was a little bit more special. Even after school activities from the football field, Coach Alexander uh, allowing us to, to get pumped up when things get tough and to push forward and to persevere when things don't go your way. Being part of the improv classes, being part of the chess club, being part of a nationally recognized robotics team and having access to certain tools and technologies. It was really truly a community that allowed us to thrive to achieve anything in life, you've got to work hard and you need good people around you. And I was very fortunate to have the Warren City School Systems and I was very fortunate to have a great supportive family who, by the way, also went through Warren City Schools as well as Warren G. Harding. It is an honor to walk through the same halls that my father walked through when he came from Greece 
So thank you to everyone who's helped me along the way. It was not one person. It is a whole community of people. And without them, I would not have achieved anything in life. So thank you. Uh, it is so great to be part of this. And, and please, every, everybody who's part of the system now, work hard and don't give up. Uh, things will go your way as long as you stick to it. Edward Luco, a 1966 graduate from Dwarren G. Harding High School, furthered his education on a full athletic scholarship for basketball to the University of Florida. He graduated from there in 1971 with a BSBA degree and earned an MBA from Ohio University in 1985. His employment was in insurance. As such, he traveled the world and worked for Lloyd's of London. He then joined with a group of individuals to form an artificial intelligence-based software company which was the first of its kind and which provided services to international companies. Because of his love of learning, Ed then transitioned into college teaching. He currently teaches at the Ohio State University, Ohio Dominican, and Franklin. He is consistently one of the highest ranked professors at Ohio State in the College of Arts and Sciences. He has volunteered as a high school basketball coach and is involved with fundraisers for local causes. As a basketball player at Warren G. Harding, he was co-captain of the Final Four state-ranked basketball team in 1966 and won All-Ohio Honorable Mention. Members of the Warren City Schools Foundation, members of the Distinguished Alumni Hall of Fame, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It's a signal honor for me to be inducted into the Distinguished Alumni Hall of Fame. The one comment that I would like to make is that the achievements that I was able to outline in the application was a direct result of an extraordinary group of teams that I happened to be a part of. They were willing to do what it took to make me look very good in being able to note the achievements that I was able to. So on behalf of all of those team members, I, would, I am going to accept this honor of induction into the Distinguished Alumni Hall of Fame. Thank you. Nick Makers graduated from Warren G. Harding High School in 1944 from Youngstown College in 1960 with a BS degree in education and a degree in engineering, and from the Westminster College in 1966 with a Master's of Ed in School Administration. He also did postgraduate work at Kent State, the University of Pittsburgh, and the University of Akron. He began his teaching career as a junior and senior high school teacher of math and science in various districts, then became a high school principal in the Waterloo School District. Returning to the area in 1977, he was named superintendent of the Grand Valley Local School District and then moved to the Howland School District from 1979 to 1989 as superintendent. He was inducted into the Howland School's Distinguished Alumni Hall of Fame. Nick was active in the community as seen by his involvement with the Children's Rehab Center, the WTC Public Library, and the Trumbull County Educational Service Center. He was also a longstanding member of Phi Delta Kappa. My name is Anthony Lamperos, and I am one of Nick Makers' five grandchildren. I am here with you today to express my deepest thanks and gratitude to the Warren City Schools Foundation for inducting my grandfather, Nick G. Makers, into the Warren City Schools Distinguished Alumni Hall of Fame. I accept this honor on behalf of our entire family, which includes Nick's late wife, Olga, his three loving daughters, Pam, Nina, and Nikki, his grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and great-grandchildren-to-be, his sister, Dorothy, and all of our extended family and spouses. If my grandfather were here with us today, I know he would be eternally grateful for this honor bestowed upon him. Coming from an immigrant Greek family and humble beginnings, my grandfather was a proud graduate of Warren G. Harding High School and worked tirelessly to serve and better his community. After getting out of the Navy, he earned a degree in engineering, but his true passion was always education. Even though we all know he would have made a great engineer, I'm glad that he chose to be a lifelong educator. There's no doubt that the crowning achievement in his life was serving as superintendent of Howland Schools from 1979 to 1989. Through his service as a teacher, board member, and superintendent, my grandfather had a positive impact on the lives of countless children. I know because I'm one of them. <laughs> he was a champion of children and he always believed that with education, anything is possible. It wasn't a fleeting thought for him, but something he embodied and lived every day. Even though he's no longer with us, his work continues through the legacy of his family. 
My aunt is a retired school teacher. I am currently an associate dean and professor at the University of Kentucky. My two older brothers are doctors and my two cousins, his two uh, other two grandchildren are a nurse and a doctor. He inspired each and every one of us through his love of education. Again, I'm very humbled to accept this honor on behalf of my grandfather and our entire family. And I also wanna express my sincere congratulations to all the other inductees and their families and loved ones. Finally, I wanna reiterate our thanks to the Warren City Schools Foundation for this honor. Thank you. As a 1982 graduate of the Warren Western Reserve High School, Vince Peterson has distinguished himself in various areas of endeavor. He attended Youngstown State University on a full athletic scholarship and graduated in 1987 with a bachelor's degree. He went on to graduate from the North Carolina College of Theology in 2018 and is now pursuing a master's degree also in theology. Vince is currently the officer in charge of adult probation and supervises a staff that oversees high-level probation offenders. In addition, he is supervisor to the U.S. Marshals Violent Fugitive Task Force as well as an FBI hostage negotiator. He has been the recipient of many honors, including Trumbull County Community Star, African American Achievement Hall of Fame, Warren City Sports Hall of Fame, Trumbull County Sports Hall of Fame, and YSU's first Cultural Diversity Award. Vince is currently the Vice President of the Trumbull County Interdenominational Ministerial Alliance Board, Chairman of the Trumbull County Corrections Board, and is on the Board of Directors for Trumbull County Drug and Mental Health. He believes that there is no better place to get an education than the Warren City School System. So I want to take the opportunity today to number one, say thank you for bestowing this honor upon me. I've had a lot of honors in my life. Um, recently just honored by Willard Elementary to be in their Hall of Fame there. But more importantly, I just want to thank you for this opportunity and for recognizing me. This does not come with just me, but it is a blessing. I want to say thank you to my parents who raised us to be good young men. We haven't always been perfect, but we have done our best to try to live a good life. They raised us to try to be good students and to treat people right. So I want to say thank you to them. I want to say thank you to my family, my brothers, uh, to my beautiful wife here. Actually, I didn't know her when I was in school, but I'm gonna give her thanks anyway. But uh, I just want to thank her for being here with me, my children who I love, and of course, this pretty little girl here, my granddaughter. I want to say to Warren City Schools, you have always, always been a great influence in my life from my teachers, and I don't want to name any of them right now because there are so many going back to elementary school, all the way back, I'm gonna name one, my kindergarten teacher, Miss Trumpow, who up until about 10 to 12 years ago, still remained in my life. But you all have been impactful in some form or fashion, whether it was by teaching us, by just extending your love, uh, or coaching us. I just want to say thank you to my fellow classmates, to those who are honored here with me today. I want to say thank you, and I'm so glad to be a part of your class. Most importantly, most importantly, since the age of 13, when I accepted Christ, that has been the most impactful thing in my life. Amen, this is my granddaughter wanting to do her own thing. But I wanna to say to, to God, I thank you for using me as you see fit. And I pray that you will continue to guide my footsteps, guide my classmates, and guide those who are in the Warren City School still serving and taking care of students. Gotta give a shout out to my church because they're here in the audience. So I wanna. <laughs> Once again, no, we thank you. We love you, Warren City, and we truly, truly appreciate you. As a grandfather, it is important that I set a good example for this young lady, and I could not be more proud than to be in the Warren City Schools Distinguished Hall of Fame. 
Love you and God bless you. After a highly successful and activity-filled high school career at Warren G. Harding High School, Sarah Sally Kingsbury Walsh went on to Wesley and graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Philosophy. After a few years of living in Germany, Sally moved to Austin, Texas, where she studied law at the University of Texas, Austin. In 1978, she graduated with a Master of Arts degree in Nonbivalent Logic Philosophy and a JD in International Law in 1982. While working part-time, she composed questions and answers for the GRE for the Educational Testing Service. Her legal career was devoted to public service law, first as a public defender, then with the Legal Services of New Jersey. Sally was later a coordinator of the Pro Bono Project, which worked with the private attorneys in doing volunteer legal work. Though she is currently semi-retired, she has retained her law license and does editing work, volunteers at Good Grief, and helps with tax prep for the elderly and disabled. She is active in her church where she teaches faith development classes. Frank Sapancic retired May 31, 2013 after 35 years of teaching and coaching within the Warren City School District. He was hired during the 1978 through 1979 school year to teach social studies and to coach the Warren G. Harding swim team. During 1990 through 1991, he taught social studies at Warren Western Reserve Middle School and continued to coach the Warren G. Harding swim team. Mr. Sapancic returned to Warren G. Harding High School during 1997 through 1998 to teach ninth grade social studies and coaching the Warren G. Harding swim team. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, family, Warren City Schools Distinguished Committee, and guests, thank you. There is no greater award than to be recognized by the Warren community, fellow teachers, and administrators that you did the best job you were asked to do. As you know, I was a high school history teacher at Warren G. Harding for 35 years. My world was one of lectures, discussions, case studies, and packets of ungraded papers. However, my greatest daily joy was seeing the student body of Warren Harding and knowing each day I was challenged to train, nurture, discipline, and encourage each one of my students to their very best. To all of them who keep moving forward, made mid-course corrections, bore down when things got tough, re reject discouragement, and did something to make life better for others and the world we inhabit a more livable place, I say thank you. To my wife, Terry, for being an ear and soundboard for within the ins and outs of each day and each academic year. To my daughters, Jennifer and Kelly, graduates of Warren Harding, for proving that hard work and dedication will provide great opportunities. And finally, to my five grandchildren who are keeping the academic pride with excellent grades. To all current teachers, administrators, aides, and specialists of the Warren City Schools family, Understand that you change lives every day, one student at a time, one day at a time. Henry Adams, noted American historian, observed that a teacher affects eternity because you can never tell where a teacher's influence stops. Your influences go on and on. The people you have helped and taught pass those lessons along to others. Teachers are the soul of an enlightened society. We are entrusted with the most precious resource we know in life, children. Please remember this. The mediocre teacher tells, the good teacher explains, the superior teacher demonstrates, and the great teacher inspires. Strive for greatness. I believe that with all my heart. With that, I wanna thank the distinguished committee and congratulate all the other alumni award winners and my fellow con colleagues. To the students of Warren City Schools, I ask simply, make me proud, Raider proud. Thank you. Nicholas J. Angelo, after 33 years of employment, Nicholas J. Angelo retired as business manager of Warren City Schools on January 31st, 1991. Mr. Angelo started his career in education in 1958 when he was hired as an elementary physical education teacher, serving in that position to 1959. From 1959 to 1960, he was employed as a social studies teacher at East Junior High School, where he also served as an assistant football track and basketball coach. 
During the 1961 through 1962 school year, he was named head football coach and also served as head track and assistant basketball coach at East. Mr. Angelo received his Master of Science degree in education at Westminster College in July 1961. From 1964 to 1965, he was guidance counselor at East. He then served at Warren G. Harding High School guidance counselor from 1966 to 1967. In June 1968, he was named supervisor of interscholastic athletics and recreation for Warren City Schools. My time with the Warren City Schools was like a dream come true, starting at first grade at First Street, then on to West Junior and Harding High School as student. At Harding, I was active in student government, student body president, class president, and, and was able to earn a scholarship in football to attend Western Reserve University. I was just so fortunate that, uh, and grateful to Harding for that all led to a career back at Warren City Schools as a teacher, elementary school phys ed teacher, then junior high guidance counselor and football coach, and on the Harding as a guidance counselor, then on to a career in, as athletic director and director of uh, recreation for Warren City. From that, I was promoted to the business manager's position, which I spent 13 years and finished my career at, at the Warren City Schools. Uh, another thing of note, when I started with the schools, we were building schools such as Alden, Seacrest, and Devon, and when I uh, retired, my job as a business manager was to close some of the older schools and tear them down. Once again, my career through Warren, from first grade through that of an administrator, was like a dream come true. The Warren City Schools Foundation and the committee of the Warren High School's Distinguished Alumni Hall of Fame would like to give special thanks to Mr. Charles R. Cole, Hall of Fame member 2008, for his initiative and dedication in establishing a scholarship fund for Warren G. Harding students. Special recognition is also given to Bill Williams, Hall of Fame member 1995, the Warren G. Harding class of 1948, and the members of the Hall of Fame for their contributions. The purpose of this fund is to inspire and enable Warren G. Harding students to pursue post-secondary education in a university, community college, or trade school. The creation of this fund continues the commitment of the Alumni Hall of Fame by providing scholarships to worthy Warren G. Harding High School graduates. The Warren City Schools Foundation and the committee of the Warren High School's Distinguished Alumni Hall of Fame appreciate the donations of many individuals who have contributed to the scholarship fund. Anyone interested in making a contribution can contact the Warren City Schools Foundation. This year, we are pleased to recognize wonderful recipients of the Alumni Hall of Fame scholarships yet again. Each year, we are so pleased at the amazing accomplishments of our students. As you will see in their biographies, many of them have done some incredible things while students, athletes, and community service contributions throughout their time at Warren G. Harding. Yasmin Angel, recipient of the Hyderis Scholarship.
Haley Barnes, recipient of the Nellie C. Ole Scholarship. Stacy Brown will be receiving the Aurora Scholarship and the Student of Promise Scholarship in honor of John Pogue. Naja Elam, the Warren G. Harding June Class of 1948 Scholarship, and the C. Robert Wyndham and Fred Kubley Jr. Scholarship. Abigail Frazzini, the Cole Williams Scholarship. Kaylee Galloway will receive the Russ Brown Scholarship and the Mary Davis Bayman Scholarship. Rachel Gilronan will receive the Distinguished Faculty Scholarship in honor of Frank Supancic. Cassandra Green is the recipient of the Distinguished Faculty Scholarship in honor of Nick Angelo. Madison James is receiving the Supancic Family Scholarship. Jack Clayholtz is receiving the John O. Vlad and Mary Alice Vlad Scholarship. Roland Loy is the recipient of the Kenneth Craker Scholarship. Mm -hmm. 
Mason McVicker will be receiving the Fiorino Family Engineering Scholarship. Katya Mizam is receiving the Student of Promise Scholarship in honor of Sue Kindleberger. Madeline Pasek is the recipient of the Student of Promise Scholarship in honor of Lynn Gibson. Maurice Patterson is receiving the Student of Promise Scholarship in honor of Harry Paytas. Megan Rivera is receiving the DESI Scholarship. Victoria Robinson is the recipient of the Donald Lee Nelson Scholarship. Kiara Svikas is receiving the G. Dual Verka Scholarship and the Cliff Johnson and Lily Johnson Scholarship. Marissa Steer will be receiving the MVCAP scholarship. Caden Schweitzer is receiving both the Anthony R. Baraducci Scholarship and the C. Robert Wyndham and Fred Kubley Jr. Scholarship. Ensley Thomas is the recipient of the Candia Faroga Scholarship. Mm -hmm. 
Destiny Toth is the first recipient of the newly formed Harold B. Cassidy and Mary Ellen Cassidy Scholarship. Matthew Vensel is the recipient of the Gail Pavick Scholarship. Samuel Waldman will re be receiving both the Warren City Schools Warren Education Associates Scholarship and the J. Lacey Scholarship. Winbush is receiving the Shiro Family Scholarship. Emma Woodyard is the recipient of the Carl and Barbara Ann Zoba Scholarship. Congratulations yet again to all these wonderful recipients in the class of 2021. Good evening. I'm Mayor Doug Franklin of the City of Warren, and I'm happy to be here today to represent the City of Warren and to offer these proclamations and recognitions for the Distinguished Alumni Class of 2021. Let me say first and foremost, I am so proud of each and every one of you and all that you've contributed to our community and throughout the world in your uh, chosen professions. I'm extremely proud to present these uh, proclamations today. And I want you to understand that uh, as a Warren City Mayor, it's important to me that they understand that they can achieve the same things that you have throughout your lifetime, throughout your various careers. So thank you very much. Uh, please feel free to come back and visit us. Uh, those of you who are abroad or, or out of the country or even in another state. Um, I wanna say one thing personally. Our kids need you, our community needs you, and we want to share in your success, and we want you to share that with, with those kids. Thank you very much, and congratulations. Lastly, and certainly not least, to our honor students receiving scholarship awards. Congratulations, and please recognize that the scholarship is not a payment, but it is an investment. An investment into your future to support and encourage you and your pursuits with the hopes of one day earning a place in the Distinguished Alumni Hall of Fame for yourself. Thank you for joining us.